Welcome back guys to day five of you guys trying to convince me that this vise right here is the best vise ever made. This is the record number six against the Fireball 510. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the engineering between the static jaw of both of these vices. Up to date, the current score is four to zero, the Fireball in the lead. This is the static jaw, which means it's the part that doesn't move. Let's take them both apart so you guys can get a better feeling. So let's take a look at some of the features on the record. We got nice big front cheeks up here, okay? We have a nice chin that sticks out the front. As soon as you start clamping, the vice jaw wants to go down and this is a good support for that. The other purpose of this part is to hold the nut and this is what keeps this part from tipping out. This part engages up here in front and they do all of this being as cast. It keeps more money in the company's pocket if they don't have to machine anything, but the trade-off is you get a little bit of slop. This dovetail breaks out, which means this casting snaps. You're pulling, you're pulling, you're pulling, pump, and it pops. What I don't like about this style is we get something called screw bind. That's what the screw's trying to do. So as it bows, you're trying to turn it. Obviously they wanted an anvil. They're just using the back of the slide. Bang, 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 bang. This is bad practice. Do not hit this with a hammer. The hardtail has an anvil on the back. That way you can do some blacksmithing. So let's look how the static jaw holds on to the dynamic jaw. Obviously we have the floor, one here on the chin and two little pads here on the back. That keeps it flat. They have just chosen to have a machine surface on the top, a machine surface on the sides. There's no pad or machine surface down here at the bottom preventing the rolling. So let's look at the fireball vise. We have a long chin and this gets supported way out here several inches. It has pads on the bottom, machine pads on the top and on the sides and on the back. There's a groove in here. It matches this groove right here in the bottom. See how tight it is? There's zero roll in this. So the threads are at the very end of this long tube on the hardtail vise. This is what allows us to have a rectangular slide. We're able to hold the nut from the end and this is what gives us this fully boxed dynamic jaw. What holds this tube nut in is what we call the hardtail. This protects the slide from getting yuckum in it and it allows for perfect alignment with the screw. Pulling from the back of the vise, the center line of this screw will always remain straight. So the winner of day five, I just have to give it to the Hardtail 510. It's just a much better design overall. The Fireball now leads with a 5-0 score in this little comparison test. Leave me a comment down below what you'd like to see tomorrow tested for day number six, okay? I'll see you guys there.